Good day everyone. Today my plan is to go through double link list. So as a prerequisite, we just uh, I will just assume you have the basic idea of link list. Just the basic idea. Nothing much, nothing complicated like how to insert a value, how to delete a value, that's all. And mostly our program will be just copy and paste, assuming you have the basic idea again. So that will be the prerequisite. So I hope you are familiar enough with the with the basic link list code, uh, link list program. So if not, I will request you just to go through first four classes of link uh, link list. So in double link list, it will be the easiest class ever. So what is the different what is the difference between double link list and the link list we have already done? The previous link list that we have done, we have a note class, if you remember, and we have a data part or integer part there. One object part was there that is called next. We, we called it next. Uh, in internet, you can find it like link. You can find it as a next or you can give any name basically. So that is basically an object of the note class and that is basically pointing to the next node. So it looks like something like this, 10, 20, 30, 40. So from 10, you can move to 20, from 20, anytime you can move to 30. But the saddest part was from 30, you cannot move back to 20 because there is no direction. The direction is available only for going into the next node. You cannot go to the previous node normally. Okay, you have to use some tricks to go there because in, in earlier chapters, we have already printed something like reverse display or something. But again, that is not, I will not going into that complicated scenarios because double link list is very easy and straightforward. So now we will plan somehow to go into the previous node, like from 30, I am planning to go into 20. And that's why I will introduce something called prev. Prev is the same kind of thing, nothing new, the same kind of, it looks like next, but I'm planning to place it to point the previous node simply. So how it will look like? It will look like something like this, 10, 20, 30, 40. If you take any, any single node as an example, like 30, you can see 30, from 30, you can go into 40 as well as you can go into 20. So that is the new thing is available now. And as usual, at the end, uh, at the end uh, means at the, at the last node, you can see there is a null. And at the very beginning, before 10, you can see that is also null. So that is our target to create. So if I just go to our blue Java, so here we have created a node. So I will just copy and paste this program. So as I as I have said, my plan today is just to just to copy and paste because today's class is the very easy one. So I am naming it as denote something. So I will just again, as I have said, I have just copied everything here, and I will name it as uh, say everything as denote everything. So here denote, here as well, here as well, and and anywhere I left, no. So now I'm going to introduce the same thing. I will, again, I will just copy denote next. I will just copy and paste here. So, so another denote and I will name it as prev. Prev means previous. And here as well, we have to give something like prev equals to null. That means the default value. Again, I'm doing just the similar thing as next. So now you might be thinking like how we are going to uh, implement that big code. So I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to copy. And I'm just going to create a new class. Let me name it like D linked list. Say. Just I'm going to add a D in front of that. I'm not going to do a big change. So I'm just copy and pasting that thing. And just let me do uh, replace uh, here. If I write node and I'm just going to replace all the node with the D node this time. So it will be easier for me uh, without changing one by one. And let me name 
this class as dealing list. So just I have changed everything. You can see node to denote. Everything is now pointing to denote. So now if I just compile the same program of link list and if I close, you can see we have created something, a duplicate thing like this single link list. So it looks similar. Even I have copied everything, so it should look similar. So now, if I go to, without taking much tension, if I just go to topic two, today we have only three topics. So without thinking as a whole, without thinking as a whole, like how we can change all the pointing in that way, do not think much, start one by one. So if we pick insert at beginning at the starting, we have that at the starting itself insert at beginning. So how we are planning to do that? First, you will be creating a denote. So what does it mean by denote? Denote means it will create a node with one value and it will create a node with one value and two addresses, one at the front, one at the back. So in the similar way, don't need to take much tension. So I'm, I'm just inserting a value like 10 and it will be called as box as per the code. You can see in the code, it is called as box. Okay, you can see it is called as a box. So now nothing is there. So obviously head is null. So we will call box as a head. So what we will do, we will rename it as head. So that is our start. Nothing is there. No double link list exists. So that is our first step as per the code. Next, how to build it step by step if there is something already. So now, second time, again, suppose someone click insert at the beginning with a value 20. So it will going to run the same thing, D node box, D new node. So let me create another node here somewhere in the code. Suppose like this. So it will be having three parts. And suppose the pe the person has entered 20 here, see, and now it will be named as box as per the code. So now this time, obviously, it is not going to go, it is not going to come here in the if box because head is not none. I can see something is uh, available at head. So head is obviously not none. So it will go into the else block simple two lines is written box next equals to head so if i just write that code if i just uh, uh, replicate that step here in the picture so it will be something like that box equals to head and here here we have to do our uh, extra steps that was not available previously we will do that extra step and that will be head prev equals to box so that is the extra step. So in each um, in each task, probably we have to add one or two extra steps. That's all. So here I will add one extra step like head dot brave equals to box. Just one extra line. Everything I have copied, nothing else. We have just uh, written one extra line. Nothing else. You can see all the programs were rewritten. So just I have added one extra line just to point this extra direction. From head, there should be a way to reach to the box. So if we just iterate these steps every time, it will become a double link list without thinking much. Okay. And as a last step, you know, it is like head equals to box. So obviously, head will move into the first node. So if I just try to replicate that, so box there will be, means head will not be there, head will come to the first block. So similar things will happen. So now if we are going to add some, uh, some other nodes again, so the same thing will happen. Suppose uh, let me add another node called uh, 30, say, okay, let me change the color. Okay, let me add another node called 30 say it has three parts so it will be called 30 say and it will be called as box so again it will go into the else block because head is not none so as per the first line you can see here 
box next equals to head. That means I have to draw. It is it is the old it is the older code. Okay, older version of code. So thirty to head one one direction will be available. As per the next line, what will happen? There will be another code like head to box, something like this. And then what will happen? Head equals to box as per the third line. So the head will move from here to 30. That's, that's the thing. And if you keep doing this thing, you do not need to think much. You just need to call this insert at beginning and it will keep adding the nodes in this way and it will be available on both the direction. So the ex as a summary, the extra line is this one. You have to take care of this line. Okay, so that's that's our goal basically today. So if we just uh, let me clear everything and let me draw something quickly. So I have quickly uh, have drawn this uh, picture uh, without wasting time. So if I just go to the next uh, topic that is insert at ending. So insert at ending means we have to add something at the very end. So if I just check the old program, okay, let me close this one. Yeah. So insert at ending. So again, the same thing. Uh, I will introduce a box uh, with denote, suppose. So suppose we have created this link list 10, 20, 30, 40 using insert at beginning. We know how to create that. Just by adding one extra line, we have created this thing without taking that much tension. Automatically, it will happen. So now we are interested to add something at the end. So similarly, I will create one new node that is called box. Let me draw it one by one. So suppose the new node will be something like this. And we will going to enter 50, say. And the name of this box will be, say, uh, box, as per the code suggests, it will be called as a box. So now head is not equals to null. Uh, if head equals to null, it will be head equals to box as usual. But if it is not null, because I can see there is something available at the head, so it will, the code will go to the else block. So now I'm going to create something called temp. So temp will be starting from 10. So temp will be starting from here and it will go as, as the post code suggests. You can see temp will start from head and it will go until temp next equals to null. So where temp next equals to null. So here, if I just write here at 40, temp equals to is null. Temp uh, next equals to null. You can see. So the next part of 40 is null. So it, the loop should iterate until temp next not equals to null. But when it will reach up to 40, so for temp next is now null. So it is not equals to null, it is false. So equals to null. So it will stop there. And after the loop, what we are what we used to do, temp next equals to box. So that is the old code, older version of the code available for the single link list. So we used to do here to draw an extra line like this. So now here, what we will do, you can probably assume like here we will going to do something like the reverse one. We will take care about the reverse direction. That's all. We will not going to think about as a whole in each step, probably we'll be adding one or two lines just to create the reverse direction. That's all. So here I'm just going to write box prev equals to temp. So what this line will do? This line will just create a extra uh, link from 50 to 40. That's all. That's all basically. So previously, in case of single link list, we are going to create the link for the next part. Here we are, we will be creating the link for the previous part. So basically as a summary, one or two line maximum will be the extra line. That's all. So here, this is the way how we can, we can create this 
double linked list and it is very simple because we just need to take care of one or two lines. So now if we just concentrate on delete from beginning, how it will look. If I just try to copy the code, where is delete from beginning? Do not take a look into the other programs. Just you can take care of them by yourself. In case of any problem, just let me know. So let me do one thing. Let me delete this uh, 50 box. Yeah, so now it looks fresh. So now we are going to, we are interested to delete the 10. So obviously the first option will always be there, whether it is single link list or double link list. So head, if head is null, so we are going to print list is empty. Otherwise, what are the steps? Node equals to one new node called temp. Temp equals to head. So let me do that step by step. Temp equals to head. We are going to mark it as temp. Now, what is written in the second line? Head equals to head next. Head will be moving to the next node. Okay, fine. So let me move head from uh, 10 to 20. So head will now go into 20. Let me do. Yep. So next, what it is doing, temp next equals to null, means this blue line between 10 and 20 is going to be erased. So if I just do that, you can see the blue line between 10 and 20 is going to be erased. If you just, if you haven't followed that, let me do it once again. So the blue line between 10 to 20 will be erased. You can see. So temp next equals to null. So now, obviously, you can imagine what will be our extra task for because all the codes is already written. I'm not, I have not written any single line yet for delete from beginning. So now, obviously, we have to remove this green line as well. So what is the what will be the code? Head dot prev equals to none. So if we add this extra line, then it is going to remove this green color link the reverse link between 20 and 10. So now it is completely detached, completely alone, this uh, 10. Okay, so now obviously we are going to print 10 data is deleted. So it will print something in the screen like, okay, 10, 10 is deleted something. And at the end, I will do 10 equals to none. And it is going to be deleted forever. I hope you have received the idea. So it is nothing tough here. We are just going to add one or two extra line here. So here we have added something like this. Head prev equals to none. So it is just for, we have written this just for deleting the link from 20 to 10. So that was not previously available. So just one or two lines you have to manage. So now if I just go further for display. Uh, so display. If I just go to display, where is display? We have done a lot of things during single English class. Here, it will not that much because it is a very easy thing. I'm not going to show everything here because it is just one or two line adjustment. So wide display, if head is null, obviously list is empty. Else, I'm just going to print list is like below. Just print everything. So if you are still waiting for some lines from me, nothing is there. So we do not need to change anything here. You will be surprised and it is the truth. It is not always needed even to change everything. So here I'm, I'm interested to print something like 20, 30, 40. So let it be started from 20, then go to 30 and print 30, then go to 40 and print 40. So nothing needs to be changed. It is not like we have the previous link we have to use that. No, here we do not need to use the previous link. Next is enough to traverse from 20 to 40. That's all because there is no need to traverse from 40 to 20. Here we are not deleting anything where here we are not inserting something. So no need to change. So here for display, no change. Okay, so as a summary, on the first part, insert at beginning, we have added just one extra line. Insert at ending, we have added just one extra line. For delete from beginning, we have just added one extra line. And for display, we have not changed anything. So now this is the time to execute our program, just to check if I'm doing everything correctly or not. Because, okay, let me clear this drawing first. Yeah, so if I just create a link list with my name, Say Deva Pratap and 
if I just do, okay, we have not done any changes in most of the functions. So we have done changes at insert at the beginning. So let me insert 10. Just, I'm just checking because I'm curious, like uh, I do a lot of mistakes in my jobs as well. So uh, I'm not that talented person to write a code on its first turn. So I make mistake, then I change the things. So it is very common for me. So I'm just interested to see, have I made any mistakes here? So I have in inserted 10, then 20, then 30 in at the beginning. So it should show me something like 30, 20, 10. So I have added everything at the beginning. So now I'm going to add something at the ending. I'm just going to add 40 and 50. Let's see how it behaves. So insert at ending, 40 and 50. So here, if I just uh, display, so you can see 30, 20, 10, 40 and 50. 40 and 50 has been added at the end. So now the time to delete something from the beginning because we have done some changes here. So delete from beginning. If we just do that, 30 is deleted. Obviously, because 30 was at the first part. So now if I do something again, where is delete from beginning? I delete from beginning here. So 20 is going to be delete. Yeah, 20 is deleted now. So perfect. So now if I display, it should start from uh, 10, 40, 50. You can see 10, 40, 50 here in the screen. So yeah, I hope you are not that afraid like what is double English because the hardest part we have overcome. Uh, so here we will just going to change few things or even the situation is something like this. We do not need to change something. So automatically it will be adjusted. But now we are. I'm, I'm going. I'm interested as a last topic. I'm interested to show you some, some, some areas where you need to do bit of changes. But those changes will be for easiness, for the easiness. Like if I take an example of delete from ending. If you remember our code for delete from ending in single link list. Uh, let me check. So here, the things will be easier. Okay. Uh, not tough like the previous. Where is delete from ending? Let me check. Let me check. Uh, okay. Here it is. So for delete from ending, okay, if we just bring back our uh, link list, just let me bring it back again. Yep. So it is good to work with a long list. Actually, we can imagine a bit. So shorter length is not good for imagination. So here I can uh, play with a good for loop or something where I can imagine like how the for loop will go. So it is good to work with a big uh, link list. So I just, that's why I put it like 10, 20, 30, 40. It is not that big, but still okay to uh, write the program. So here I'm just, what, what we used to do to delete the last node, like 40. If I want to delete the last node, 40, what we are going to use to do previously. So temp and temp2. And then temp2 is null or something. We are starting with temp equals to head. And uh, until temp next null, I'm just doing something like temp2 equals to temp and then temp equals to temp next. So what, what we are doing here? So if I just give you some example very quickly. So here... I'm just adding temp here. So whenever I'm trying to move temp into the into 20, before that, I'm just assigning temp to here. I'm just assigning temp to here, and then I'm moving temp. Okay, so where I'm doing this? I, I hope you remember the code. If not, that's why I'm revising. If you are familiar with the code, because obviously uh, I have I have said at the starting of the class as a prerequisite, you have to do this single English program. But still I'm doing this if you somehow forgot the code. Uh, so here basically you need to write the code for single link list and then you need to convert into double link list. That's the idea. So here I'm doing like every time temp2 is taking the value of temp and after that, temp is moving to the next node. Here also, I'm doing the same. So again, the same thing is going to happen. 
tem2 will take the value of tem so tem2 will come on the top of uh, tem and then tem will be moving into the next loop so that was our idea previously again it is checking temp next not equals to null yes temp next not equals to null because i can see something in the temp next so now again the same thing will be happening so temp2 will come on the top of temp and temp will be moving into the next node okay got it so a good for loop to iterate so here now temp next not equals to null it is not true because temp next is null here so there is nothing after 40 so we, the for loop will be ended here the for loop will be ended so after the end of for loop what we are doing temp next equals temp2 dot next equals to null so if you look very carefully the blue line between 30 and 40 that is temp2 next I have highlighted that line temp2 next equals to null so that blue line is going to be deleted okay so obviously you can imagine what we are going to do now so here we are going to do something like I'm just again adding one extra line just one extra line temp dot prev equals to null that's all so if we do that you can imagine that extra green line from 40 to 30 is going to be deleted if you look closely look it is deleted so now we are going to print 40 is deleted and temp equals to null so temp is going to be deleted so that's our idea basically but my point is it will work okay if i run let me compile and uh, if we run it will work so where is dealing list okay let me create a link list with my name guha say and if we just uh, do something very quickly, I'm adding 10, I'm adding 20, I'm adding 30, I'm adding 40. And if I now display, it will be obviously 10, 20, 30, 40, you can see here. So now, my task is to delete from the end. Where is delete from ending? Here it is. So 40 is going to be deleted. Of course, 40 is going to be deleted. And if I just print it, now it should show 10, 20, 30. So it is working properly. But my point is, lead, double link list is simpler version than single link list. Yeah, here you have to just change one line. You have to just add this extra line to convert it from single link list to double link list. But my point is, without changing one, without adding one line, it can be also improved. Dustrically, we can improve that because we do not need to take anything like temp2. Or if you find this step uh, very tough, like uh, why we are doing temp2 equals to temp, it is very tough if you, if you just complain on that. So my point is don't do that because it is double link list. Delete two lines. I'm deleting two lines. So just simply go for go with the temp. That is the easier version. Just simply go with the temp. Okay, if I just revert back our code, yeah. So just go till the end only with temp. Then, then just it is a double link list. So just write temp to equals to temp dot previous that's all you do not need to carry temp2 throughout the for loop so here by this line we can write temp2 here we can point temp2 on the top of 30 so just add this line so as a whole it is same we have deleted two lines and added one extra line so it is the simpler version why you are thinking in that single link list style here we can go back so there is no need to take temp2 to be carried over the for loop. No need of that. Just reach till the end with temp only. Once you reach at the end, just write temp2 equals to temp prep. So temp2 will be here. And now all the extra, all the lines you have done, just do that. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have deleted that line. That line will be needed anyhow. So temp next equals to null. I'm deleting the blue link between 30 to 40. 
temp prev equals to null. So I'm deleting the link uh, between 40 and 30 here. And then the rest of the things. This code will also work. So that is the simpler version without making the code that complicated. I feel that. So now it's your choice. You can follow the first way. You can follow the second way. Whatever you can do, uh, it is okay. Okay, no one will complain. No one is going to say like, okay, it is not working or it is the faster way. It is the slow way. Nothing like that. Every, both the ways are same. Whatever you find easy. For me, it is very easy not to write that complicated for you. Okay, so I'm just trying to create scenarios. Okay, because people say like, okay, double link list is tough, double link list is tough, but I find it easier than single link list. When I, I have, I attended my first class on single link list, it was, it was like, means I, I couldn't understand any single thing. But once I understand the link list, the concept of link list after struggling a month, kind of, I remember my college days, then the single uh, double link list was very easy for me because I just need to adjust one or two lines. Most of the cases, I have to delete few lines. I I can use some easier versions. So it is, it is good for me. So now another complicated program like reverse display. If you remember, it was a very tough code uh, for... Uh, it was a very tough code uh, uh, in single link list. If I go there, where is reverse link, reverse display? Display, display, where is reverse display? Here it is. It was very tough. You can see because we have to write two loops. So one loop here, one loop here. But in this case, double link list will make your life very easy. So here, double loops were placed one inside another. So that means if this loop iterate five times and this loop iterate five times, it will be five into five, 25 times. And it is that complicated as well. So what we am, I'm, I'm going to do now, I do not need temp2 or something. I do not need these end and all those things, I guess. I do not need all those complicated things now. So what I will do, let me copy this. So I will start from head. The temp will be starting from head. The same for loop I have used earlier at the time of in the, in the previous program. So temp will be starting from head until temp next is becoming null. So it will go till 40. Temp equals to temp next. So it will go till the end. So I'm not going to print anything now. So now I'm just going to print list is like below. And now I'm just going to write something temp not equals to null. Until temp becomes null, I'm just going to print all the temp data. And okay, I can do, uh, I can write it in a for loop as well. No issue. So if I just introduce another for loop. So temp will be not equals to null and each time I'm, I'm going to do temp equals to temp dot frame and that's all. It is going to print me the reverse link list. So what I'm doing first using this for loop, I'm just reaching till the end of the of the link list. So temp is now at on the top of 40. Now I'm just going to print something like list is like below in the screen. And then again, I'm starting until temp becomes null. But this time I'm going reverse temp equals to temp prev. We didn't have this facility earlier in case of single link list. And every time I'm printing temp.data. So temp.data, it will print 40. And after that, temp will be temp prev. So if I do that, so it will be something like temp will move from 40 to 30. Again, temp will move from 30 to 20. And it is obviously going to print 30 and 20 respectively. So next, temp will move from 20 to 10. So it will be going to print 10. And after that, it will become null. Because the previous, the previous of 10 is null. So temp, it will work until temp becomes null. You can see. So here now temp becomes null and our display is ended. So it is done. 
and we are going to see IDverse linked list. So if I just going to show you, uh, if I just going to run the program, this is our last program probably. Let me check, take a look. Okay, no, we have delete a value as well. Okay, so just if I run this program very quickly. So let me create a linked list very quickly. Guha with uh, insert at ending. Suppose let me insert 10 again. Uh, insert at ending 20. Insert at ending 30. Insert at ending 40. So if I display. So obviously it is going to print 10, 20, 30, 40. Now if we just do reverse display. Where is that? Here it is. So it should print 40, 30, 20, 10. You can see 40, 30, 20, 10. So it, it is working fine. Not complicated, not complicated like uh, the single link list. So it is an easier version. Okay. So the last program we will do today, the delete a value. So it was a tough code earlier in case of single link list, I believe. So where is that? Where is that? I'm just going to reuse that. So delete a value. So if head is null, we are going to print list is empty, true. Then if head contains that value, suppose uh, if I just bring back the code and if I just delete the 10. Yeah. So if I'm going to delete 10, so head data equals to 10, then I'm, I will simply recall delete from beginning. That's all. So 10 will be deleted. But in other cases, like uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm looking for deleting 30. So you can see there was a very big code here. A very big code. So I'm not going to reuse that. Obviously, here also you can add just uh, one or two lines. That will be okay. Even I can do that even. Okay. If I just go through here with the code, temp head equals to temp equals to head. Temp, it will iterate until temp becomes null. And temp equals to temp next. If we find the data, you can see here, it is a very complicated code. Temp next dot data. We can survive with this code by changing one or two lines. But my point is why I'm going to make it that tough. Because double link list is an easier thing. So without changing, without going into that direction, I'm just finding temp data equals to value. So whenever I'm finding 30, Suppose we are trying to delete 30. So whenever I'm finding 30, I'm stopping there. So you can see. So here I will stop. So nothing complicated like tem dot next dot data. No, don't do not need to do that. So now if tem becomes null, we will say like okay, we have not found anything. And if we found something, what we are going to do? We are going to do something like okay. Let me delete this code entirely, or we can even use that. But for me, easiest version will be something like this. So temp3 equals to, suppose it will be temp.next. So I will, I'm going to mark 40 as temp3. And I'm going to mark 20 as temp2. So the previous node of temp is temp2. So let me mark it here. So let me mark it as temp2. Do not need, always it is not needed to take a look into the previous program. It is okay as well. Like uh, in double link list, the things are very easy. You can move into both the direction. So no need to make the thing complicated. I have given you a lot of examples just by changing one or two lines. So here I'm, I'm interested to show you to reconstruct the program. Here also you can follow the previous way by adding one or two lines that will be okay. But I do not want to make it that complicated. So temp2 is 20 now, temp3 is 40. Now I'm going to print like okay, temp data is deleted. That means 30 is deleted. Uh, but before that, before printing that, or and, and at last obviously temp is null. But before that, I'm interested to do few things. Few things like um, I'm just interested to add a new line like from 20 to 40. I just want to draw a new line here. Okay, 20 to 40. So I'm just I, I I'm just looking for deleting 
this old blue line between 20 and 30. Okay, so how to do that? I'm just going to write something like temp2 dot next equals to temp3. Very easy. I have marked everything. So now the same thing I will do temp3 dot prev equals to temp2, the reverse line. That means I'm just I'm just interested to to draw something to create a link between 40 and 20. So I'm just basically looking for deleting this green line from 40 to 30. So how to do that? Obviously, I have to write temp3 prev equals to temp2. So now the remaining part I have to delete. I have to separate out this 30 completely. So I have to delete both the blue line and the green line, green line of 30. So it is temp next equals to null as well as temp prev equals to null. So it is going to delete this blue and green line, the remaining attachments with the rest of the linked list with 30. So I'm just going to delete them. So now 30 is separated out. We can print 30 is deleted and we can do temp equals to null. We can just destroy this 30. Okay, so that's how we can delete a value. So I'm, I'm just encouraging you here just to focus on rewriting the program as a whole. Do not need to change. It is not needed always to check the older codes. Sometimes it will be easier for you to imagine in a fresh way. So just try to imagine in double linked list way because double linked list way is very easy because you can move backward and forward both. That's the concept. Okay. So no need to if you have not written the single link list program in, in, in a good way, you can start with double link list directly. Okay. So that, that was my purpose actually. And I hope you have understood all the, all the programs and everything. So we have a nice exercise as well. Uh, I hope this is the last program. Yeah, it is, it is the last program. So all the links will be provided here in the detail section of the video. You can, you can find something here as well. So if you go to our group, if you go to the media, uh, uh, yeah, and if you go to the album, you can find something like data structure exercise. Sorry. Uh, yeah, where is the data structure exercise? Here it is. And you can find something on double link list. Where is the double link list? Let me try to find. Here it is. So chapter 4.3, double link list. So you can, you can go through all these problems here. And if you face any kind of problem, any challenges, just let me know. You can paste the code in the comment section. I will try to take a look what are the errors you are you are committing. Okay, so that's the thing. And in in the interviews uh, and in the exams, even they will be uh, looking for the algorithm, just the concept. Even you do not need to be that good. You do not need to be that perfect. You do not need to take care of all the semicolons and all those small, small things. The needed thing is just the concept. How you are thinking, what you need to do to delete something from the beginning. What you need to do to delete something from the ending. Just you need to tell the story. You do not need to write the program in front of them. So, yeah. So, that's for today. Just practice everything for double link list and let me know if if the programs are running good okay so that's all bye for today